Would you be my Then Jay bring you know the video. So before I start, before I do anything at all, I just want to go ahead and point out that I will be explaining uh, different items that you will need on the video. So if you want to skip this, go ahead and uh, skip to what is shown right now on the screen so you can go ahead and skip it all the way forward because I will be explaining quite a bit on uh, the items that you'll need. Okay. So, for everyone else that decides to stick around and want to hear what you are going to need, um, I will be explaining um, the items that you'll need and as to why you will need these items and why I've actually decided to explain this to you. Um, now, of course, you guys have already seen on the video that we're going to be tethering um, from my cell phone to my laptop to my video game console and I want to explain this to you because you're going to need several things um, one of the major major things that you're going to need is of course an application called PDA net and a another application so to speak called Fox key this unlocks the full uh, version of PDA net uh, and this is this is the application that we're going to be using to tether um, to the laptop or to the computer or to desktop whatever you're going to be using so if you want to go ahead and go do that right now go down to the description and go ahead and click on the first and second items that you will need to download uh, the applications okay I will be demonstrating that very soon on the video as well um, okay so moving on the very first item that you're going to need is your USB to mini USB uh, cable which is basically your charging cable that comes with your phone I am personally using a Galaxy S7 and I've used a cell phone for about a year and this is where I do a lot of my recording and this is where I've done tethering to my laptop alright so it came with a standard uh, USB charging cable now there's different types of charging cables and yes um, believe it or not there's actually two that I know of um, the very first one is only for charging so if you would happen to plug that cable to your laptop or computer um, it will not transfer any data and if you were to use the other type of cable that I just said or that I just talked about uh, a message would appear if you would like to transfer data between you know uh, your mobile device and your computer this is what I mean but this is the difference if you were to have the first one of course we wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tether because it wouldn't transfer any data alright um, so we have your phone your USB cable next one would be your computer uh, I personally use a very very cheap laptop that I mainly use for recording um, kind of personal things here and there it's nothing serious it's a very cheap com cheap computer so this way you guys actually know that it can be done with uh, several different computers and laptops not just a high performance thing okay I have a compact computer <laughs> from Walmart that I got several years ago there still has Windows 7 and this and if it works on the Windows 7 I'm pretty sure it works on any newer devices or any newer computers or laptops um, what you do want to make sure that it does have is the Ethernet plugging uh, it will be basically the place wherever you can plug in your Ethernet cable alright and of course the next item would be the Ethernet cable that will plug into the back of your console or whatever else you you want to uh, tether to of course you can also tether to another computer but why would you want to do that from one computer to the other wouldn't really make sense but it's still possible okay um, so now that we have mentioned everything that we need to uh, address and now that you have uh, basically all the essentials that you need we'll go ahead and start with the video and demonstrate how to do everything 
so over on my phone what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and the very first we're gonna the very first thing we are going to do is that we're gonna go over to the App Store and search for PDA net plus okay once you download this and install it all the way at the very bottom you're going to see that uh, it's not going to be the full version it'll say that you need to pay for it in whatever um, don't worry I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a website that you're going to go to as soon as you do that and you go to this website it'll ask you if you would like to download uh, the application like so of course you're going to go ahead and download it I've already done this so what I'm going to do now is I'll show you that it has already been installed once I uh, hit the open it's going to go down to here and it'll show that you have a full version okay um, after this I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well to a place where you can download PDA net and install it onto your computer okay what I'm going to do now on on, uh, on my phone is I'm gonna go ahead and click the uh, USB and tethering just go ahead and turn that on okay now um, now that this is set up I don't need anything else on my phone anymore because it's already turned on all right so now what I'm going to do it's that we're going to switch over I'm going to switch over to my PC all right so over on my PC what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to open PDA net cool uh, and it right now it says connected so there we go there's that cool um, this means that I can now go on to the internet let me see it's actually connected it should yeah um, it'll take a couple of seconds for it to recognize So there we go. As you can see, I am actually uh, browsing the internet. Like I said, it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but it will work. So there it is. I am actually browsing the internet, and it is as, as simple as that. Okay. Over on the um, on the phone, you're going to see the speed of the you know USB transferring stuff and all that anyway we're done with um, with the PDA net and Fox key and all of that now to get to the interesting part now what you're going to do is go ahead and connect the Ethernet cable to your laptop or computer and of course make sure that your Xbox 360 Xbox one PS4 we you whatever you're using make sure it is on now what you want to do is go ahead and go over to start and go to computer now on here what you're going to do is go over to network and on here you should be able to see it um, mine already says Xbox 360 okay um, now from here go to network and sharing And what you're gonna do now is uh, click on the home network right here where it says uh, PDA net and broadband connection. Go ahead and click on that and then go to properties. And after that, you're gonna go over to sharing and then make sure that a, um, the check mark on allow all the networks to use through this computer. Make sure that is uh, abled and then you're gonna go ahead and just click OK and that should be it um, now because I'm using my modded console I actually had to disable my um, my internet 
and what I mean by that is is that over on on Xbox consoles you can actually turn off internet access see these two so so I've gone ahead and restarted my console um, now like I said remember because it is USB tethering it's going to take a little longer to load I am also using a um, an RGH so connecting to the still server could take a couple more seconds than it usually does now I shouldn't really do this too much um, or you sh guys shouldn't really have any issues after this um, it is possible like I said I've done it myself I've tested this out myself but there's always a p possibility of it um, just being a little slow and having some connecting issues but like I said it is possible because I've done it several times already so we're just gonna give it a couple um, couple minutes here wait for it to load and there we go it actually has already it's loaded it is connected and just to prove okay what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go all the way here go to network and as you can see I'm using a wired network cool um, I could go wireless and I would have to unplug it okay and I'm, that's what I'm going to do right now I'll go ahead and unplug this from all right and I shouldn't be nope I'm not anymore I'm gonna go back on here then go to here and then go to test all right I would recommend that if you're going to use your cell phone that you have a pretty fast internet I found it a lot easier and a lot faster to use um, a Wi-Fi on your phone and you can share it with your laptop and then share it to your Xbox it is actually possible like I said I've done it millions of times when, I've ha when I have had issues in the past with my internet and my um my Wi-Fi wasn't working um, I fought fat console of course and it doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi and it actually had an adapter on it a Wi-Fi adapter and it stopped working so this is how I found um, that I could do this so I hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys have any problems issues questions don't hesitate to leave them in the description okay if you guys are stuck on anything at all let me know and I will do my best to answer you as fast as possible and give you um, the most advice uh, and you know what could be going on and how to fix it cool all right guys thank you guys so very much for watching leave a like subscribe maybe I'll see you guys on the next one cap out <laughs>